Um, so here's another theorem from um, the Liber Asymptorum of Archimedes. Um, in this case, we're going to start with a um, a circle. Uh, let's put another uh, point on the circle there, and um, we'll create a diameter um, uh, to the circle. The way to create a diameter in GX Web is um, you create a chord like that, and then you insist that the center lies on the chord using the incidence constraint. Now, in this um, uh, this lemma, uh, Libra Asymptor means book of lemmas, and this lemma, um, we're going to look at the, um, the tangents at B and C here. The way to create a tangent quickly is you grab uh, the point and the circle and then the tangent um, constraint, but it realizes that what we actually want to do is create a tangent, and that's what we done here now. The um, theorem is going to um, say, or the lemma, that um, the line BE bisects the perpendicular from B to AC. To create the perpendicular from B to AC, again, it's a handy way is just select the two entities and then uh, perpendicular constraint actually creates both the, the line and the constraint. So we're um, we need to put a point in here. And in order to give us quantities, it's useful to put some constraints in, so there's um, something uh, symbolic to talk about. So let's, uh, for a circle, uh, obviously radius is a useful thing to stick in. And now uh, um, here, um, what I'm going to do is constrain the location of A, um, take that A. So, uh, given that, um, we could get the distance from B to F. Um, now, we could do that using Pythagoras, and so can GX web. Uh, but now we'd like to sit, have a look at the distance from B to G. And we find it is indeed. I have of that, so it's, that is what we're um, looking to prove, or as I would say in Libra's asymptotum quad, right? Demonstrata Q E D 